Hey guys and welcome back to I'm going to do this Halloween freehand spider and web nail design. So I'm going to use black by sinful colors called black on black, white by creative play called I blanked out, hollow by color club called don't harp on it, and white acrylic paint. I rarely use it but I decided to do now. So I already painted my nails with the black polish and using my nail brush I'm going to draw lines to create the spider web. Now the web lines don't have to be perfectly straight and that's what I liked about it. I liked that it was kind of crooked and, and uneven because it gives it a more spookier look to it. You know that's my kind of thing you know. And I liked using the acrylic paints. Like I said I always say either you use nail polish or acrylic paints and I really do. But I do like using acrylic paints because they don't dry as fast. Then to give it a more little, you know, pop of color, I decided to just outline the lines with the hollow. I just thought by adding that, it kind of gives it that shiny-ish look that spider webs have to it. And I wanted to do something simple, so I just did it around the lines, not the whole design. Then using my black nail striper, I never forget about using that. I'm just going to draw the spider web and the little spider coming down the web. Now I wasn't necessarily going to add the spider web to it, but I just thought it kind of looked weird with just a line and a spider coming down of it. So I said, let me just add a quick little spider's web uh, design. So if you want to do something quick and easy, this is just a quick look. Like I said, the spider web design doesn't necessarily be, have to be so perfect. Then using my nail dot, I'm just going to draw a little two circles around the body, you know, for the bottom and a smaller part for the head of spiders. I didn't want to go too intricate. I wanted to show you something really easy, simple to recreate. You know, it doesn't have to be the most prettiest thing. It is a Halloween design and Halloween designs don't have to be so pretty and perfect. It could, you could get away with having something, you know, creepy and gory and you know, not so perfect. And once I was done, I applied a quick dry top coat. I hope you liked this video. I hope I made it really easy and simple for you guys to recreate if you want. You know, I'm going to do a whole lot more Halloween design, so get used to this. <laughs> and here's the finished look. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get updates on when I upload new videos. And check out my Instagram at phone my nail, see more of my nail art. Thanks so much for watching.